From time to time, it's really good to review your LinkedIn profile and make sure you're positioned effectively. So one thing I did this morning was um, change a title on one of my roles just to make everything consistent because I like to have the title in capital letters followed by the thing um, after it. Anyway, so this particular role was my um, YouTube um, channel where I've got co-host as the title. So I've changed that around and at the bottom there's a little slider saying update your network. Now LinkedIn is either having a, a, a bit of a bad day today or it's just, you know. Um, but you can update your network when you've made changes on your profile. But what it's done today is it's alerted my network to tell them I've got a new job. No, I don't have a new job. I've updated a role that's already on my profile, firstly. But secondly, I don't have a job anyway. Um, I run my own business and I've got multiple roles within my business um, for do and different projects and things I focus on. So it's jobs the wrong term. So I've, I've been inundated with messages saying congrats on your new job. So that's the first. So first problem is LinkedIn's communication is a little bit dodgy. Secondly, when you when you um, look at your own notifications and you see those updates, um, you know suggestions for things like someone's having an anniversary, someone's got a new job, they've got a promotion, um, it's their birthday, all those things. LinkedIn has the um, placeholder text ready to go. Congrats on your new job. But think about this. It's not about whether you say that or not. It's about standing out and building relationships. So if you send that blank text, it's kind of like you've sent them a greeting card with you know that paragraph inside that that's pre-printed, but you haven't written anything in it. So and everybody else sent exactly the same card with the same picture, you know. So hopefully that gets a point across. Those um, those notifications are triggers or conversation starters. So rather than sending someone a blanket, you know, happy birthday or a blanket congrats on your new job. Maybe look at their profile and look for something, um, you know, look for what that actually means. So if it's a new job, have a look at it. What does it mean? Um, is it actually new? Is it an update? Is it an additional role, you know, to what they're already doing? And then look at, well, how can I use that now to, um, to build a relationship with somebody? And it might be talking about something that you've done recently or, congr you know, or congratulating them in a very, in a, you know, in more of a natural manner uh, and mention, you know, use it to talk about something else, maybe, or maybe to follow up on something or to say, um, let's catch up a coffee. You know, something that's beyond the message itself. So use them as triggers, don't use them as outcomes because those messages, and if you've got a large network and people send these messages, they think they're doing a good thing, which, you know, it comes from a good place. But what you end up with is a massive problem because your inbox is flooded with um, generic messages that all sound the same. So you've got a couple of choices then. Do you respond to them individually and, you know, start a conversation, you know, use them to start a conversation on the other side, which is what I like to do. But when you get hundreds of these messages, it's really difficult to do that. And then, of course, other messages get lost in your inbox because the way LinkedIn's inbox works. So think about when you're sending those messages, are you starting a conversation or are you just adding noise to someone's inbox? So always come down to intention and purpose. Yeah, your intention is good, but what is the purpose behind that intention? And use the trigger to actually start a conversation on LinkedIn. So great, it's a great, um, great insight, but think about what you're going to do with it. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. And um, yeah, now stop sending me messages unless you're actually sending me, if, unless you're using it as exactly as the example I said, because otherwise my inbox is going to be very busy. And if you've sent me a message in between, chances are I'm going to miss it because I've been flooded. So <laughs> there you go. Thanks for watching.